Presenting the Sarawak budget on Monday, Sarawak Chief Minister Tan Sri Adnan Satim said the 2016 allocation under the national budget is insufficient. I would like therefore to thank the federal government for the 2016 allocation. However, taking into account of the state's vast geographical area, the development disparity between Sarawak and Peninsula Malaysia, as well as between the urban and rural areas in Sarawak. The 2016 allocation under the national budget in the state is not sufficient. Eda Chuku. I don't know why you are called Eda Chuku. I think you are called Eda Chuku. But anyway, we're, uh, we're dropping a broad hint to the federal government. He spoke about the development disparity between Sarawak and Peninsula Malaysia and gaps within the state's own urban rural areas. The state is in real need of the federal helping hand in granting more annual allocation to enable us to step up our development in both in Peninsula Malaysia and to narrow the development gap between the urban and rural areas. Sarawak should not be left behind. We also want Sarawak to have the same facilities enjoyed by our brothers and sisters in Peninsula Malaysia. Adnan listed three projects the federal government would fund in Sarawak next year, aside from the Pan Borneo Highway. For Sarawak, specifically, the national budget has provided education and poverty. 1.3 million for Samaraju Industrial Park. 42 million for Muka Airport and 30 million for NCR Land Perimeter Service. The following allocations are for Sarawak and Sama. 70 million proposed for the Team Party Subsidy Scheme. 260 million proposed for Price Uniformity Program. And 70 million proposed for interest in non cash the Chief Minister, who is also Finance Minister, tabled 5.97 billion ringgit state budget for next year for development and operating expenditure, but the federal budget is almost the opposite. On Sarawak's economic performance this year and outlook for next year, he said growth was and would remain at 4%, attributing the softening growth to the lower commodity prices. Adnan also said the state income from oil and gas royalties would be halved with the collapsing of global fuel prices.